This is Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about Jalen Carter. Want to take some snaps at running back? Also, we got to talk about Devontae Smith getting a little recognition. Can you call it recognition or disrespect? And lastly, Saquon Barkley fires back, take a little shot at the Giants. But let's get straight into it. All right, football is officially back. Eagles report to training camp today as I speak. And there won't be any like real practice today. Maybe press conference, I'm not really sure. But the real practice start Wednesday. Then you got Thursday, they will practice walkthroughs Friday and then a practice Saturday. So it's just good to have the players there. it will be something to talk about. We go into the camp battles. You know, the linebacker battle between the Kobe Dean and Zach Bond. And then, you, of course, the cornerback battle is the most interesting one. You got the wide receiver three. Of course, you tight end two is an underrated one. The right guard, of course, battle. But it's going to be interesting to watch and see what happens during training camp. But Jason Kelsey actually had a message for the players reporting to training camp. But let me play this clip. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Press on, has solved, and always will solve the problems of the human race. I was a walk-on coming out of high school. They told me I wasn't good enough. So I got drafted, but everyone said I was too small. I didn't have what it takes. I, like, I think I'm good enough to do that. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to earn the starting spot my first year. We are all so much better than you can realize. The human mind is fucking incredible. Everyone here is here for a fucking reason. I promise you. Jason Kelsey, you know, every time he speak, make you want to shed a tear. You know, he gets so passionate. You know, I think tears start rolling down his eyes. Anytime I hear Jason Kelsey speak, it does touch the soul, man. But, well, pause. But, um, yeah, it's good to hear Jason Kelsey talk to the players, like his come up and how, you know, he wasn't a starter. But he worked his way up. He grind. And like he said, these dudes are not there for no reason. Work hard. The Eagles will give you an opportunity. So training camp is officially here. But let's talk about some news, man. Let's talk about a little news. And let's talk about Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter actually wanted to take some snaps at running back. But let me play this clip by our running back coach. But there's <laughs> usually three individuals on our team that continually – are in my ear about, oh, oh, and they'll, they'll even show me their stats. Look, look what I could do. Look, look, look at these stats. I was That's like, amazing. yeah. So my okay. phrase to these guys is always, oh, everybody wants to run the rock, but what if I need you to block? They don't want mm -hmm. no part of that. So those three guys are Jordan Mulata. Uh, okay. Jalen yeah. Carter feels that he is, would be a really good fullback in short yardage. I and Jordan that. Davis is another one of those guys that have shown me their footwork at the running back position <laughs> on multiple occasions. So there's some competition in that backfield for the big guy, the extra guy. And, you know, just, again, you want to talk about a little bit of exclusive. So a couple of years ago, that's amazing. Man that is now retired. Fletcher Cox has mm -hmm. actually taken reps in our backfield going downhill. We never got to it, never done it. So you just never know. You oh, never know I like it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. And he also mentioned like Jordan Mulata and Jordan Davis want to take some snaps at running back. Now, Jordan Davis, I'd be cool with, but Mulata, I'm sorry. I know you got the rugby experience and you got experience holding the ball and running people over, but you got left tackle, man. Left tackle is the top three hardest position in the NFL. Corner, quarterback, left tackle. However you want to mix it up, those are the hardest positions to play. And we can't afford to have our left tackle possibly get hurt trying to do running back stuff. But it is fun to see that these guys are mentioning this stuff because we haven't had a game where as though we could do that stuff. Like we had a game where Lane Johnson caught a touchdown or we would bring in Slay as a wide receiver. Like have fun with the playbook. Last year, none of that happened. But I would love to see Jalen Carter at the goal line, hand it all to him, or do one of the play action passes, do a trick play. But we do those when we're having fun and when we're up by a lot of points. But unfortunately, last year, we couldn't do any of those games. Every game was such a nail biter. The only two games I could think of that was somewhat complete, but it was still pretty close, was the Dolphins game and the first time we played 
the Buccaneers. But other than that, every game just been a fight, 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 fight because the play calling was so terrible. But maybe we can get exotic with the playbook and do some trick things. Maybe another offensive lineman can catch a touchdown besides Lane Johnson, like how we did a couple years ago. Maybe we don't have to put Slay out there as the trick wide receiver. Maybe we try something else. So, um, yeah, man, I hope uh, hopefully we get exotic with the playbook and have fun. That's what I want to see this year. Of course, I want us to win games and stuff like that. But I want us to see the team have fun. Like, even at the victories, the team wasn't smiling and happy. It's like, yeah, we won. But, man, well, I had to be so close. So, hopefully these dudes have fun, man. That That's what I want to say. I want to see Jalen Carter's into that tricky stuff. So, I want to see our team do some new things, some new things that I will blow our mind pause. All right. So let's talk about Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley spoke about the clips and stuff that have been coming out by Hard Knots. And there was one particular clip where uh, Joe, well, that's what I'm just calling him, Joe West, called Saquon. And remember how he was like, he Saquon to come back to him if he get an offer and how he's a giant for life, this and that. And Isaiah Rogers, I was watching his interview with Simone Stanley. He actually talked about Saquon just a little bit. He said when he seen that part, him knowing Saquon now, he knew he was out. But it's funny that Saquon said the same thing in this clip I'm about to play. So let me play this clip. It was over after that phone call, in my opinion. As soon as he said to go hit the market. I never in my heart truly believed that they were going to match it or they only wanted me for a lower price. So like at no matter what, I probably wasn't going to go back. You see, he said he knew he was out. He knew the Giants wasn't going to match the Eagles offer. He just knew it. And Hard Knocks clip baited us and made it look like they said that, but they really did not say that, that they matched his offer. They never did. They wanted to pay him cheap. And, you know, he, he got what he deserved in Philadelphia. And I'm happy he did because usually some running backs, you know, be good for a really long time in their career and never get the money they deserve. But Saquon can say he's one of those running backs that got the money he deserved. Now he just got to prove that he still got it, that he still got the burst. He could still cut. He could still do his thing. And I believe he can. But that that was definitely a fire back and a shot back at the Giants. Letting them know, like, yo, I, I knew y'all was on some BS. I was going to be out. I was going to be out. So shout out to Saquon Barkley, man, for keeping it up. But keeping it a beam, let's talk about Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith, is it disrespect or recognition? Right. So the top 100 came out and last year, Devontae Smith was 100. I don't believe there was 99 players better than Devontae Smith. And so do the top 100. They ranked them to 90 now. I mean, he only he only moved 10 spots up, but that's 10 spots up. And let it be known that even with the play calling and how we was using them at times, it, it didn't look pretty because of the play calling. The league recognized like, yo, he got better from last year to this year. And now I think he's only going to get better. Watch how Kellen Moore use him. Wouldn't be surprised if he moved like really, really up or make a huge jump to about the 60s to 50s. But I know a lot of us Eagles fans going at them like rank 90, 90. Yes, I'm with y'all. But I'm seeing that the league is starting to gradually see, you know, the league and the media is always behind the content creators and the fans. But he's gradually moving up in the list. And I think he's going to move up even more with really good play calling. So um, I, I call it more recognition. You know, I, I won't attack the bit media right now. I give them they props. It was more recognition. But let's listen to actually what like A.J. Brown and like Sidney Brown and stuff. I had to say say about him some of his teammates. I'll kill you then. I would say every time we play Washington is my favorite time to watch Devontae play. Devontae Smith, wide open. Because he's going to make some acrobatic catch. Down the far side of the field, leaping reception. He's not scared to go across the middle. You see him take his, bounce right back up. He goes up, and you're like, man, did he catch that? And the DB kind of drags him back, and I was in disbelief that he caught the ball. 
It's crazy some of the plays that he makes and you know his concentration to bring the ball in. He's one of those guys where you see the ball go up and 90% of the time you know he's going to catch that thing. They've got one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside with Skinny Batman, and he just runs right by Deron Bland. Devontae Smith has a variety of nicknames. Slim Reaper, Skinny Batman, Rubber Band Man. Touchdown! You see, like, they appreciate Devontae Smith. They know what Devontae Smith bring into this lead, what he do, and I think it's underrated how he catch the ball over guys. I know we talk about his route running, but his jump ball, I mean, man, he's up there. So Devontae Smith get that muscle right, easily top five receiver in this league. We have basically two receivers in the top five. If Devontae Smith, to me, get his weight up, but at the same time, you don't want him to bulk up too much because you don't want to limit his route running. But the things he do at his size now, I mean, it's amazing. It's definitely amazing, man. But hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? Training camp is back, almost back. Also, Saquon Barkley, Devontae Smith, Jalen Carter, get some snaps at running back. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm out.